Hey guys, it's Monica. Um, I'm here today doing something new. Um, not really an unboxing, but uh, a product review of uh, some recent tech or some new cool stuff that's coming out. Uh, and so I was asked by Intel to review the Intel RealSense camera. It's a 3D camera that you could find on uh, various laptops like Lenovo, Asus, Dell, um, and it works with Windows 10. Um, I actually have a MacBook, uh, so Intel was nice enough to send me this fancy Dell right here. Ooh, shiny! It's big and it's getting ready to be filmed. Um, that way I could actually demo some of the tech for you guys and show you how the camera works. Uh, but pretty much you could do uh, like cool gesture controls with it. Um, it has something crazy like 22 points of tracking or whatever, so if you want to do a conference call, there are different things you can move your hands across the screen. Um, which obviously would be cool for different games, so they had different like little apps and games you could play. Um, and what's also really unique about it is that they could do 3D scanning, um, and so I'll get into that a little bit more later. How it works is that there are three cameras on it, uh, which you can see. On one side, there's just a normal camera. On the other side, there's an infrared camera. camera. And the other side, there's an infrared laser projector. And so all of these work in combination to create, uh, I guess, like a depth of field which then creates a 3D camera for you guys, so you could kind of create this, it could capture and create 3D views for you all. So one of the coolest things for me when I first saw it was uh, it has this face recognition, um, I guess, technology in it, in that um, it's it's very similar to the Kinect for the Xbox, where you kind of face the camera and you turn on and instead of typing your password to log in, um, it actually recognizes your face. So. Uh, I suppose if there's someone else in your house you don't want to log onto your computer, if they see that person's face, they're gonna say, sorry, we don't recognize you, you can't get in. Um, and so here, you could see me looking at the camera, and it's recognizing my face um, and logging me in, so that way I don't have to sit there and type my super long password in. There are some downsides to this, in that um, when I first did it, um, I was wearing no makeup, and I had glasses on. And so for a little while after, uh, it had trouble recognizing me. So you definitely have to do it in clear light. Um, I think glasses shouldn't be too much of a factor, um, but I guess make sure like you have your hair away from your face so that it can see everything. So in order to use the camera, it's not just face recognition. Uh, Intel actually also has um, apps that you can use uh, to go with the camera with its different 3D capabilities and whatnot. Uh, some of these apps are for free. Um, some of them you have to pay for. Um, and if you could look right here, you guys can see some of the different apps they have. Um, a lot of them are just like little games, so it'd be good for kids to play. Um, there's some cool cheap ones where you could play you could 3D yourself. Um, and then there's some other ones if you want to do video conferences. Uh, there's some great ones that are really great for video editing. Um, so if you don't want to just use iMovie on your computer or QuickTime or whatnot, um, there's some really cool ones that you can actually put yourself in a green screen and do like virtual presentations and whatnot. Um, and so like while some of these are great, there's not really that great a variety of them. Uh, maybe in the future if they develop more free ones that are really great, that way you're not spending like $60 for an app um, that has the features that you really want. Um, and it's kind of, some of the apps are a little kitschy um, and unless you spend a lot of money, you're really not going to get something like it's a lot of help and super feasible. And I'll get more into these apps in the next part, if you want to click somewhere along the screen. Um, and I'll talk more about in detail about some of these apps and what they can do. So overall, um, the camera was really cool. I actually hadn't known there was anything like this around, but I also am not the kind of person that's like, yeah, 3D, because I typically uh, avoid like 3D at the movie theaters because I'm a baby. Um, but, you know, for things like cosplay or for if you're making YouTube videos and video editing, this could actually be something that could kind of enhance your overall, uh, your overall, like, offering, I guess. Um, and it could be really cool for video editing and if you're doing a conference and whatnot. Um, and so I think at this point it's a little early in its development, uh, to say this is like a must-have, a must-buy. Um, but I think if you get the opportunity to try it out and play with it a little bit more, um, uh, I know they have them at booths at cons, like at PAX and whatnot. And so you could try out some of the tech and see how it works. Uh, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's like 10 out of 10, but I think with improvement over time, more apps and, uh, look, there's my dog, and, uh, and more development of the actual technology, it could be something really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll have part two coming up soon uh, where I'll talk about uh, some of the different apps and kind of demo how those work. 
Um, and then maybe you could see for yourself if you want to grab it. So thank you guys so much.